This is the final video in a three-part series of uh, getting this AeroSky quadcopter converted from a multi wee board to a KK2. And I'll show you how it flies with the PI gains set for both uh, acro and self-level mode. And then uh, walk you through just how I got to those values. Then I'm going to package this guy up and ship him back to Soldier 53 Flyer in Michigan. And then he's going to put his FPV gear on it and donate it to his local charity where they're going to auction it off. So uh, let's just take a look at how it flies in acro mode and then uh, auto level mode. Okay, so we're in acro mode. We have our gain set. Flies really nice. I have the gain dialed back just a little bit because this is going to go to a beginner pilot, so we don't want to have it too responsive. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and flip it into auto level mode, and you'll notice that I do have the uh, switch configured. So I switch that, and you can kind of see how that behaves. I'm just giving a little stick input back and forth. As you just saw in acro and self-level mode, everything uh, was very controllable and I would say uh, just about right for a beginner or novice flyer. So I'm going to show you my PI settings. Uh, for pitch and roll, I have 75 for P gain. 50 for P limit and 40 for I gain and 20 for I limit. So you'll see that pitch is the same. And as you know, by default, those two uh, axes are linked together. So that's just uh, something I recommend, you know, leaving alone uh, when you're getting started. So let's take a look at the yaw. So for the yaw P gain, 75, P limit 20. I gain 30 and I limit 10. Now those are settings that I came to just through uh, looking at some different guides online and specifically the Hobby King tuning guide. I'll put a link to that in the description and I'll kind of talk through just real quick how I came to uh, find these gain settings. Okay so after doing a fair amount of research I, I settled on the uh, Hobby King a tuning guide. It's in the file section on the uh, KK2 page of Hobby King, but I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description as well. So just, you know, going over this briefly, uh, I started with the, the recommended uh, gain settings of 30, 100, 0, and 20 on the roll and pitch P&I gains, and I set the default uh, yaw P&I gains 50, 20, 0, 10. Sorry, that's for the gains and the limits. So uh, next up, what I did was it recommends starting with these settings and then you know taking your uh, quad or your taking your multi rotor for a flight, and um, from there you can increase the roll and pitch by increments of ten or five, and and kind of you know see how. Uh, your your multi rotor flies uh, w with each increment, and so what I did is I actually tried to do something a little bit different. I bumped my uh, P gain all the way up to about 175. So this is with my P gain at about 175 and no I gain. So really difficult to control and a lot of oscillation. So once I noticed that my quad was oscillating a bunch, I started working backwards, dialing back the P gain, and I settled on about 70. As I pointed out earlier, this is going to be a setup for a beginner pilot. So uh, 70 with this uh, AeroSky quadcopter setup is, is really good. It's not too responsive, but definitely, you know, there's a little bit of lag when you hit the stick, but not too much. Uh, definitely something that I would feel good about doing if I were uh, getting started all over again. So once once I settled on 70 for the P gain, I went down and if you look at the roll pitch I tuning, uh, I started you know with the the default value of, of zero and I started working that 
that number up. So um, what you want to do is get that number to a place where uh, if you're in, you know, in attitude mode, like you're pitching forward or, you know, rolling to the side you and you let off the stick, you want to maintain that if you're in acro mode. And so I came to uh, a good value of, of 50 for the eye gain. Now, if you look at uh, the guide, it actually says, you know, you could set the eye gain to anywhere to 50 to 100% of the P gain. And finally, for uh, the yaw, P and I gains, I uh, tested quite a few different uh, settings. And what I've found to be the case is that if you look in this document, you know, it gives you some steps and tells you what to expect. And then it says, alternatively, you can set it to 100% of the roll and pitch P gain as well as do the same uh, with the eye tuning and setting it to 100% of the yaw uh, P gain. And I've found that those settings have, have worked really well uh, with this setup. Okay, now lastly, I'm gonna talk quickly about toggling into uh, self-level mode. Now normally you're down and left with your throttle and to the right to enable your self-level and then to disable it. It's, down and left and then left on your your roll stick. What we want to do now is actually that works great for when you're on the ground but let's say you're in the air and you want to toggle from acro mode into self level mode. As long as you have five channels you should be okay. Now the fifth channel you'll see that I have wired into this uh, fifth port and it actually comes out of uh, channel five on my receiver. And so if you go into your menu settings and you go down to mode settings, you'll see that self level right now is triggered by the stick. So we actually want to change that to auxiliary mode. And it's as simple as that. Now you'll notice if I toggle my switch, it'll go from off to on on the self level setting. And once you've configured your auxiliary switch to enable your self uh, level mode, you want to go down to self level settings and basically set your P uh, gain and limit. And I set those nearly identical to what I have for my pitch and roll and acro mode. So 70 and 45. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, uh, self level mode works great. And if I want to start off in acro mode, I have my switch up, and then you'll notice if I just toggle, then I go into self-level mode. So I hope this series of videos was useful in helping you get uh, your KK2 up and running. It was definitely a pretty fun learning experience for me. And I have to admit, coming from a NASA and an APM 2.5 background, it's really cool to be able to uh, toggle your gains. Uh, from the LCD display. So now I'm going to box this AeroSky back up, ship it to Soldier 53 Flyer, and then he can move on with auctioning this quadcopter off. But I hope this video was useful, and if you have any questions about the settings, feel free to post in the comments below. And thanks for watching.